Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's that time, you know it, time again, time to take up another champion. And if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, leave it in the comments below and give me your guess. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Professor X. All right, sorry had to adjust my camera over a little bit but anyway um kabam released some content some time ago called the gauntlet and i remember i underestimated the difficulty that gauntlet would be i got through it but i ended up spending so many revives and i remember a lot of people told me to bring in professor x now i had turned off my suicides for the gauntlet and I knew Professor X was good. Problem was, I didn't know how to use him. And I brought him into one matchup. I think it was against Void. And it should have been a really, not easy, but it should have gone pretty smoothly had I known what to do. But I didn't. I learned later what I should have done. And I was so close to doing it. Um, but... Professor X is honestly a very good champion. He's not suicide friendly. So somebody like me who runs suicides all the time is probably not going to use him a lot. However, there are times where I turn my suicides off and I want to have a Professor X in my roster. Now, I still have not done 7.2, Act 7.2, 7.3, Variant 8, or the Abyss. And at the end of 7.2, the final boss, I've heard that he is excellent for that because he is immune to reverse controls. And reverse controls, that's usually where I mess up a lot. I'm very bad at reverse controls and I hate it. All right, um, just a quick moment here. I'm trying to get enough mutant ISO. I'm short because I've been using this mutant ISO. There's a mutant advancement going on, and I know that I'm gonna rank up other mutants during the mutant advancement. So of course, I pull a skill champion out of the mutant skill um, crystal. Now keep in mind, these don't give any points. I, I don't know why it is but they don't give any points for the advancement so i'm doing this just for the iso all right boom we got this iso love it now there is a pull that i would absolutely love to get out of this crystal there's only one champion that i would want to pull and that's namor i have him already as a five star but he's not awakened so if i can pull a namor out of here it'd be worth it. You see how Namor just went by waving at me? Um, but another skill champion. I'm like, boy, this is gonna be rough. I'm getting six star shards at least. So, you know, it's not completely terrible, but you know, I, I would love to get Namor awakened. After the gifting event, and they had that one, um, uh, what do you call it, store, where you could uh, trade in the trade in store. I no longer want to use any five star awakening gems because I could have awakened my name more easily. I have a mutant awakening gem as a five star, but I decided not to use it because of Kabam and what they did there. You know, I, I felt very cheated during that uh, trade in. So now if I don't awaken him naturally, he's just not gonna get awakened. But it would be perfect if I could, and then I could dump six stones into him. And boom, we got him. That right there, that's the biggest pull that I needed. Now, for the mutant advancement that's on at this time, I can dump all of my mutant six stones into him because he benefits greatly all the way up to 200 so from now on all of my mutant six stones will go to namor 
I'll build up a few more. Uh, during an item use, I might use some generics on him to get him up there because, you know, I don't get a lot of uh, five-star class-specific Sig Stones very often. All right, so here we are using up the ISO that we just got so we can take him uh, further up and get him to, uh, you know, level 35. But then look at this. That was a lot of ISO. So I didn't get enough ISO when I was doing the uh, crystal opening. So, okay, used up all of my um, mutant again, and I'm still not at uh, max, uh, max level. So back we go. And this time I'm like, you know what? I don't got time for all this. We're just gonna grab like three, pop them, okay? That's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna spin it out. Just pop them. All right. And here we go. You saw I clicked it. All right. And every last one of them was skill. Are you kidding me? Really? All skill. Okay. All right. That's how you want to do it. Um, we did get some, uh, you know, six star uh, stars, uh, shards. So, again, let's do it again. Three more. Open them up. Pop, pop, pop. This time, all mutant. Go figure. That is very, very odd, you know? But that's what we wanted. We got more than enough for um, Professor X and for other champions that I will rank up uh, during this level up. And I think I think I ended up doing either one or two other uh, champions. But now here's a problem. Because I opened up and got all those skill, they're now in the inventory. And all of the mutant that I just pulled, mutant ISO, is in my overflow. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just use up some of that skill. I don't care. And we'll use a little bit because we're going to use the mutant ISO anyway. So use up some of the skill you know, make, make space, grab some more of the, uh, mutant and finish it off that way. And then still have enough mutant to level up other mutant champions that I need. All right. So that's professor X, uh, to rank two. Uh, as you can see, we're short one T five basic. Um, so we can't take him to rank three, but I also wanted to keep that basic because Hercules Arena is coming up and I want to take Hercules up if I can get him from the arena or from a crystal because we're going to have a few more tries after this for Hercules. So if we can pull Hercules from a crystal or get him from the arena, I want to save my resources for him. All right, so that's Professor X. And of course, you know, we're not going to go into all of his abilities. I'm just showing you this so you can see his abilities. Uh, in my opinion, he doesn't need to be, you know, awakened to be decent. But his awakened ability is actually um, quite nice to have. All right. So we're going to head over uh, to Realm of Legends and smack up on Winter Soldier and maybe another fight as well. But um, at least Winter Soldier fight. All right. So. We'll be right back. All right, let's head into Realm of Legends. As you can see, I'm going in here with just Professor X. His synergies seem to enhance mutants other than himself. All right, so let's go ahead and smack up Winter Soldier a little bit. Now, I don't know how best to play Professor X, but there's one thing I love doing with him. All right, I love building up his charges to 100 and then unleashing special twos. So that's what we're gonna do first, just cause it's fun. Okay, we got 69 cerebral charges. Okay, come on. And I think he has his falter ready. Okay. Let's do it. Go 
Look at that. Unblockable. Er. Some more unblockable. Yummy. Good clean fun. And I have some uh, prowess charges up now. So I'm doing a lot more damage. Let me go to a special three. This is not necessarily the best way to play Professor X. What just happened? How did I just uh, get hit like that? All right, whatever. Um, let's get up to 100 charges, cerebral charges. Okay, build them up, build them up. Okay. There we go. Get that special three off. And Professor X is kind of a ramp up champion. He does get more powerful after um, his fights. <laughs> but um, I don't know how best to play him, but I do know him a lot better than I did. Okay, here we go. Hit him with it. Look at that damage. Come on. He plays so passively, um, this Winter Soldier. Look at that damage. That is some crazy damage, right? And it gets better. It definitely gets better. Okay, let's build up a little bit. You guys have seen already his heavy attacks, his specials. And now I'm going to just build up again to another special three, I mean, a special two. There we go. Okay. Try and get up there. Come on. All right, there we go. There we go. Unblockable in every way. Kidushi. Don't be passive. You can see why he's not suicide friendly. Look at all the specials. Look at all the damage done. I mean, he's awesome, but he's definitely not suicide friendly. And I am running suicides right now. So let's look uh, at the tail of the tape at the end. So look at how much damage my Professor X took. Liquid Courage did 61% of the damage. Recoil did 24%. So most, and the Double Edge took eight. Look at how much damage was done by my suicides. That's pretty much all suicide damage there. And to him, of course, I did, you know, special attack damage, basic attacks, and some degen. But that is Professor X. And I will take him eventually to rank three. And he is one champion that I will most likely pull out when I do 7.2 at the end. And I'll most likely turn my suicides off uh for that fight and they're gonna probably bring back the gauntlet in some form so i'll be ready for that as well all right so that's gonna do it guys thank you all for watching feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it leave a comment let me know what you thought about the video and you all have a blessed day